Hi, my name is Guillaume Melantoni and I'm Senior Product Manager for AutoCAD at Autodesk. I'm basically working on 3D functionalities. Uh, there's one tip I would like to share with you which is about the crease commands when in mesh modeling. So why do you need a crease and when do you need a crease? Uh, basically, let's say that you're making a smooth mesh. Probably at some part of the mesh you may need that an edge or a set of edges is not smooth, it's just a sharp angle, uh, a sharp edge, right? So in that case, you will need to tell AutoCAD that AutoCAD doesn't have to make a smooth curve in that side. So what you will, what you will you do is select either edges or faces and crease them. So what is the criteria for creasing? Creasing can have a value called always, which is infinite creasing, which means that there's a perfect sharp edge on that side, or the face is absolutely planar and not smooth. And the other one is zero creasing, which is absolute and perfect smoothness. So that's what comes by default. But there's another option, which is very interesting, which is creasing by level. And creasing by level does something like a fillet. So normally, instead of having the perfect smoothness or the perfect sharp edge, you may want a little curve, right? So instead of going into solid and filleting that edge, what you can do is do creasing by level, which will move range from zero to two, being zero, perfect smoothness, and two, infinite creasing. So if you move into values, for example, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 1 point something, you'll notice that there's some kind of fillets happening in the edge or the face in which you're working, and basically faking uh, the, the same thing that we would have done with fillets in a solid with much less complexity. Thanks.